Why do you think a small family doctor working in a small community has a better chance of helping people with their mental health than an army of psychiatrists operating out of acute mental health wards established to, to cover huge swathes of London? I think why smaller scale, more personal doctoring often offers people a better service, particularly in what I call functional illnesses and um, mental health conditions, if you like, demoralization and confusion and, and rootlessness and loneliness and all the things that uh, add to the symptoms, the syndromes that come from that, is because we can understand better. And we can understand better because things don't have to be restated to a different practitioner every time they go to a clinic. Yes, in explicit terms, we understand the implicit, we can understand the subtext, we can understand what is not being said as well as what is being said. I think we all know in our personal lives how important it is to be understood while not necessarily having to express something directly. We all know that in our personal lives. And I think that that is true often when we're dealing with people with existential or mental health suffering. In other words, I'm not talking about an acute pain in my knee, but I'm talking about all the things that come from loneliness, from rootlessness, from hopelessness, from all the confusions that we have of living. And they are things that are very, very often presented to health carers, even if we do not code them in that way. 